Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of adding and subtracting fractions. This is standard 4.3e in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 29, which is a new item type called Equation Editor of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got some books here. And we need to find the fraction of the books that are mystery or sports books. Okay, so uh, our answer is going to have to be in this equation editor down here. So you see it kind of looks like a calculator, and we can just put some numbers. We can even put fractions uh, if we need to. So let's first figure out what we need to put in there, and then we'll figure out how that thing works. All right, so what are we looking at? We are looking at, well, they tell us a fraction, so our answer does need to be a fraction, right? And let's uh, remember we've got our numerator. So it's not called the top number, it's called the numerator. And that is the number that we are looking at, right? The number selected. So sometimes it's the shaded portion, right? We've got the denominator not simply called the bottom number. And that is the total, right? So the number selected over the total, that makes our fraction. So we've got mystery or, okay, so that's going to be a little bit tricky because when we uh, are looking at our mystery, we're looking at our sports, this connecting word or means it can be either one. So if we want to know how many are mystery or sports, we actually need to add them up. So let me see, I've got mystery, right? Uh, let's see, I've got one, two, comics, one, two, three, four, right? Because uh, each, each book represents a book. That seems pretty obvious, but sometimes they might make it worth two, and then they might give you like half a book or something like that. So always check the key. And one, two, three, four, five, okay. So we have an easy part figuring out how many are the mystery and how many are the sports for the numerator, right? So we're going to say there are two mystery. We are going to say there are five sports. Now, in order for us to figure out the denominator, the total, we are going to need to add them up. So two and four make six, six and five make 11. All right, so we don't deal with 11ths much but we can say that the mystery books represent two elevenths of the total number of books. The sports books represent five elevenths of the total number of books. Now, we need to find which fraction are mystery or sports. Well, there's two different ways we can do it, right? We can just color those in blue and just add them all up together, right? Count them all up together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or we can just simply add them. Two plus five makes seven. Now here's where it gets tricky. When we see it in fractional form, like we see right up here, sometimes we're tempted to add the numerators and the denominators. Look what happens if we add the denominator. That would become 22. Are there 22 books? There's only 11 books. The number of books hasn't changed. When you're adding fractions, you only add the numerator, the denominator stays the same, so it's 7 elevenths, because the number of books hasn't changed. There's 7 elevenths. So that needs to be our answer. Now, here's where it gets a little bit weird. If we punch in 7 and then try to hit fraction, it's going to think like it's a mixed number. So we don't want that. We actually have to hit this fraction button first. We hit that fraction button, and it goes straight to the numerator. See how it's got that blinking line up there? So we're going to hit the 7. Now, there's no down arrow button. In order for us to hit the denominator, you see that gray box. So you actually have to select it with your mouse or finger if you have a touch screen. Then you type in the 11th. There we go. Now, that's the answer. But remember, you had to type in, punch in that fraction bar first, hit the numerator, hit the denominator, then punch in the 11th. 